webinar has been started. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to the subcommittee on landmarks. At this time, if everyone could please silence their cell phones. If you'd like to submit testimony, please send to land use at testimony.council.gov.gov. Once again, it's land use testimony at council.myc.gov. Thank you for your cooperation, Chair Lewis. We are ready to begin. Good morning, I'm Council Member Farrah Lewis, Chair of the Committee on Landmarks, Public Sightings and Dispositions. I am joined today by my colleagues, Council Members Ung, Vernikoff, Marte, and Nurse. Before we start today's agenda, I will recognize the Subcommittee Council to explain today's hearing procedures. Thank you, Chair Lewis. I am Angelina Martinez Rubio, Council to the Subcommittee. This meeting is being held in a hybrid format. Members of the public who wish to testify may do so in person or via Zoom. Those wishing to testify via Zoom are asked to register online, and you may do so now by visiting www.council.nyc.gov forward slash land use to sign up. If you have already registered but have not yet signed into Zoom, please do so now and remain signed in until after you have testified. If you have written testimony that you would like the subcommittee to consider in addition to or instead of appearing before the subcommittee, or if you require an accessible version of a presentation given at today's meeting, please email landusetestimony at council.nyc.gov. Please indicate the LU number and or project name in the subject line of your email. In the event of any technical issues with today's meeting, we ask everyone for your continued patience as we work through them. Chair Lewis will now continue with today's agenda. Thank you, Council. We begin today with a public hearing on the pre-considered LU related to application number G220024SCR submitted by the New York School Construction Authority pursuant to section 1731, subsection four of the Public Authorities Law. This application requests approval of a proposed site selection for a new approximately 252 seat early childhood education center and accessory parking lot at the intersection of Virginia Avenue and Bay Street in, commu in community council, sorry, community school district 31 and council member Hanks district. I'll remind anyone wishing to testify remotely on these items, if you have not already done so, you must register online and you may do that now by, by visiting the council's website, council.nyc.gov backslash land use. Council Member Hanks is not available today uh, to participate with us, but she's fully supportive of the project. Council, please call the first panel for this item. If we can just have the SEA panel come up to the table while I announce you, the applicant panel for the SEA includes Kelly Murphy, Andrea Bender, and Michael Kona. Council, please administer the affirmation. Um, panelists, can you please raise your right hand? Do you affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in your testimony before the subcommittee and in answer to all the council member questions? Sorry. Good morning, Chairperson Lewis and Council Members. My name is Michael Kona, and I'm a Senior Real Estate Manager for Real Estate Services in the New York City School Construction Authority. With me is Kelly Murphy, Director of Real Estate Services, and Andrea Bender, Vice President of Development and External Affairs for the SEA. The New York City School Construction Authority has undertaken the site selection process for a new approximately 252-seat early childhood center located at Virginia Avenue, lot 2847, lot 84, 85, 86, and block 2848, lot 34, in the borough of Staten Island. The site is 52,485 square feet, approximately 1.2 acres. The property is part of the former St. Mary's Church Complex, consisting of a vacant school building and a paved parking lot. The site is located within Staten Island Community District Number 1 and Community District Number 31, the Rosebank neighborhood of Staten Island. 
The notice of filing for the site was published in the New York Post and City Record on December 28, 2020, at which time Community Education Council No. 31, Staten Island Community Board No. 1, and the City Planning Commission were also notified of the site plan. The Community Education Council Community Board were asked to hold public hearings on the proposed site plan. Staten Island Community Board 1 held a public hearing on January 12th, 2021. Community Education Council number 31 held a public hearing on January 4th, 2021. No public comments were received. The SCA affirms the site plan pursuant to section 1731 of the New York Public Authorities Law in accordance with section 1732 1732 of the PAL, the SCA submitted the proposed site plan to the mayor and city council by letter dated November 14, 2022. We look forward to your subcommittee's favorable consideration of the proposed site plan and are prepared to answer questions from the committee. I also have a brief uh, presentation that I'd like to go through uh, with you. Yeah, the presentation has been uploaded, so if you guys just want to tell us when to scroll through the slides, that will be fine. And if anyone needs an accessible version of the presentation, they can email us at landusetestimony at council.nyc.gov. I've been joined by Councilmember De La Rosa. Let us know when you're ready to begin. Okay, so next, please. Uh, this is an area of view of the site showing where it's located in, the, in Staten Island at the intersection of Virginia Avenue and Bay Street. Next. Uh, the proposed Charlie Hood, um, the proposed early childhood center will be located on uh, the, the, this tax map. I have, the tax map is highlighted showing the location of the sites on the corner of Bay Street and Virginia Avenue and also on the east side of Virginia Avenue. Next. Are you indicating where the blue star is located? Correct, and, and uh, the, the pink the pink uh, lots are the specific lots that we're acquiring for this property. Next. Um, I, I believe I covered this in my testimony. Next, please. That is the, the, the school building that currently exists on the site that we will be uh, demolishing and building a new building, a new school building to to replace that. Next. Uh, that's the view from Bay Street. Next. That is the schoolyard of the existing school building. Next. That is the parking lot across the street on Virginia Avenue, which will also remain as a parking lot. Next. And the, this is some uh, of the adjoining properties uh, what the neighborhood character is. Next. And that's, and that concludes the presentation. I just have a quick question. If any of my colleagues have questions, please let me know. Um, could you all talk about the factors that were considered by SCA in selecting this particular site versus potential locations? Uh, this was a unique opportunity to purchase the site uh, that uh, there were really no other uh, locations that were considered at the time. All right, what's the time frame for construction once everything goes through? Um, I believe that this will be 2027 uh, school opening. With the start date of what construction? The, the 25, 2025. 2025 to 2027. Do any of my colleagues have questions? All right. If there are no further questions, the applicant panel is excused. Council, are there any members of the public who wish to testify on this item? Chair, there are no members of the public who signed up online to testify on this item, but if there's anyone here in the hearing room that would like to testify, please let us know. Looks like no one here is to testify on this item, so we can go ahead and Close the hearing. Yes. Being that there are no more questions for this panel, the witness panel is now excused. Council, please call up the next panel if there is one. No, there's none. All right. Thank you. Cheers.
page 11. Yeah. So being that there are no members of the public who wish to testify on pre-considered LUs related to application numbers G220024 SCR for the proposed site submission for a 225 seat early childhood center, the public hearing is now closed. And now we will vote to approve pre, the pre-considered LU item relating to SCA application G22024SCR, which we just heard. Council Member Hanks is in full support again. And we will now vote to approve the modifications for LUs 135, 136, 137, and 138 relating to the proposed Livonia 4 development the proposed actions which include a zoning map amendment, zoning text amendment, a UDAP designation and project approval, and related disposition and an amendment to the Brownsville 2 urban renewal plan would facilitate the development of four new 100 affordable 11 and 12 story mixed use buildings with approximately 499 units with commercial and community facility use at the ground floor. Our modification will be to strike MIT MIH option two while retaining option one and to add the deep affordability option. Councilmember Barron is in full support of this proposal as modified and I'd like to take this time to recognize any of my colleagues who have questions or remarks regarding these items. Going once, going twice, perfect. I now call for a vote to approve pre-considered LU related to SCA application number G220024 SCR and to approve with modifications, proposed LUs 135, 136, 137, and 138. Council, please call the roll. Chair Lewis. I vote aye. Council Member De La Rosa. Aye. Council Member Marte. Aye. Council Member Nurse. I vote aye. Council Member Ung. Aye. Council Member Vernikov. Aye. The current vote stands at six in the affirmative, no negatives, no abstentions. Thank you. That concludes today's business. I remind you that if you have any written testimony on today's Chair, let me just say that the final vote, if we're closing the hearing, um, is going to be six in the affirmative, no negative, no abstentions. So the and vote we're is definitely closed. closing the vote today. All right. <laughs> that Thank concludes you. today's business. I remind you that if you have any written testimony on today's items, you may submit it to land use testimony at council.nyc.gov. Please indicate the LU number or the project name or project address in the subject heading. I would like to thank members of the public, my colleagues, subcommittee council, land use staff, and sergeant at arms for participating in today's hearing. This meeting is now hereby adjourned. <laughs>